I've been testing out this. This is the Wacom Moving 13 and it's a bit of fun, but I want to thank Tennishare for supporting channels like mine. And they've gone ahead and sponsored this video for me just to show you around and test out some of their claims about this, which is PD Knob. It's their lightweight and fast PDF editor and it was very simple to install it. You know, you can always tell how big a program is by how long it actually takes to download and it didn't take long at all. And yes, it was very easy to get logged in and activate. Thank you very much. They've obviously given me a pro license here to have a go. And I live quite a lot in PDF. So I do my planning on a PDF here on my Remarkable Move, which I'm daily driving at the moment. And I make a lot of my own templates as PDFs for whichever e-ink tablet that I'm using. So I really like that. One thing that I really do like about PDF editors is that you can actually, yeah, there we go, it's highlighting just fine with a pen and that you can annotate with a pen. So where's the annotation function then? Pen tools, here we go, there's a pencil and there's a pen, oh, that's a signature, so have a look. And this, by the way, which I'm using here, this is the Wacom Moving 13. I've just been trying out some Wacom devices, so I thought, well, this would be an opportunity to show you that pen input and touch input, how that works well with PD knob as well. So it has an auto save function. That would be in preferences here, look. Save automatically, you can change that to one to as many minutes as I guess you want. And it's here working obviously on my Windows PC, and this could run just as well on your laptop. A clear intuitive interface with built-in guides and video tutorials, they say. Yeah, so it is certainly very intuitive. I mean, I have just installed this, and you've seen I've been able to get annotating already and working with it very quickly. And one thing you guys tell me is that you work a lot with PDFs as well. I think this is a viable solution for a lifetime license for $60 actually. That's really quite good. Okay, a limited time offer of 82% off, but I think you'll probably find it at this price going forward. I wouldn't go monthly. It does make sense to go for a lifetime license or a 15 month license, that's a good deal as well. But also I noticed that you can try this for free and you can have 20 watermark free exports just on the free version. So I think it's a bit rude not to just have a go with this for free really. It does feel beginner friendly, has advanced OCR as well, which works offline as well for data security. So let's see if I can go ahead and find myself a PDF, which is a scan. There we go. Let's have a look. A little pop up saying scan to editable text. All pages. Why not? It's 226 pages. Let's give it a real test. Is that doing it all on my device? It's only kicked up the GPU there. Yeah, it is. It's working on my 5080 GPU, but it's using it at 15%. So it's not going to need a really powerful GPU to do this. Also a bit of CPU to utilization for that as well. And so far, so good, really. Yeah, okay. Now the GPU, I don't know if you can hear that sound, but that's the sound of the fans really kicking in as we're up to 52% utilization on the CPU as well. So this would take longer probably on a less powerful device, but let's not forget, I'm asking it to do a massive PDF all in one go. So yeah, the free version, they say 85% of the advanced editing features are there for you free to try. So if you do need to edit your PDFs, you might as well just download it and have a go really. Yeah, it seems to have done pretty well. The whole thing now look, is And there we go. And so I always think there's often you might find a, maybe it's a worksheet if you're a teacher or something like that that you haven't got a digital copy of and actually being able to scan that and then edit that is really quite useful. Maybe you've got something really valuable that existed from your company years ago, but it's in only a physical copy, then actually this is really quite a useful thing to do. And this is actually some of the more accurate editing that I've seen from any PDF editor. So that's good. As I said, I want to really focus in on the annotation features. This is the type of thing that I would make. I would make a planner like this, which is actually a digital PDF. And I tend to make this in Word. Then often I want to just change little bits. Like maybe my timetable changes slightly and I need to change this lesson maybe. Maybe this lesson changes to room S6 instead. Now I can just click and edit, 
click change and resave that as a PDF. I don't have to go back into Microsoft Word and then export it again as a PDF. I can just change my PDFs. And of course, if I was using this PDF to annotate, which is in the comments tab, then I would have my annotations actually saved on that PDF and I can edit the digital text as well. So I think that's useful. As you can see, we've done some freehand drawing, uh, with shapes, you can do stamps. We can highlight, get stickers, add your signature. It's not my signature, but and it also says built in recording and screenshot tools. Let's find that. This screenshot. Oh, I see that's made an entire screenshot of my entire screen, which I can now pick from. Or you can do screen recording. So this would be quite nice. Now it's recording my entire screen. I can annotate as I go, can I? I see you can just select a certain area that you want to record. So if you wanted to talk through somebody how to use this particular part of your document or why this bit's important, then you can make yourself a set of clips here and you can see it's telling me the actual pixel output that I'm going to get from it. And the brush tool with, now with a pen. So you can actually annotate things as you go. I think this is really good. And I think this is easier to use than Adobe Acrobat is. I'm an Acrobat user, have been for a long time, and I find it quite frustrating sometimes. Whenever I see something that I've got to load up in Adobe Acrobat, I'm like, ah, oh, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare getting around it. Sure, it's a powerful program. Don't get me wrong. Adobe Acrobat can do all of the things, but this just seems like a bit more of a straightforward PDF editor, which can do all the things they've asked me to check out. Stop. Well, that's neat. You could put your camera in it as well. I think this type of built-in recorder is really useful for making little clips for your colleagues, etc. You can also convert between PDF and Word. So I can go create PDF in here from a file. Here's the same Word document. This is the Word document that I made this PDF from. Here we go. So yeah, it's exactly the same. It's come through totally as expected. That's good. I can export the PDF into any of these formats as well, into a PowerPoint, into Word, etc. And there it is. And then, yeah, it's a Word document with the same properties. Yeah, even the B Monday is in the header where it should be. Good, good job. You're liking this moving, by the way. I'm going to take this with me when I go uh, away editing on my little laptop and this will be the second screen for that. So they've claimed it maintains the formatting and layout accuracy and yes it did. They've claimed it didn't crash or <laughs> lose data during conversion and no it didn't. You've also got a sidebar here for the different fonts. Searching within your document. There it is, yeah. You can set passwords for your documents as you'd expect. So the interface is available in 15 languages and the, OC and the OCR supports 16 languages. So I do like the fact that there's a one-time lifetime purchase there and free lifetime upgrades with no hidden charges. That's also good. And that is cheaper than other PDF editors that I've tried before. And the license can be used on two Windows machines and two Mac OS devices or any cross device mix. And there's no trial restrictions, no watermark. You can access the full features straight away. So you've got 20 watermark free exports before you have to start paying. I've tried a few PDF editors and that one is living up to the claims they're making about it. Thanks once again to them for reaching out and wanting to sponsor some content on my channel and keep my channel afloat so I can show you how you can use these great digital tools in your professional life.